In this video, I'll demonstrate the installation of the Buck Crony chronograph on an air gun. I'm going to be detailing the installation on this uh, Vingex carbine, but the process will be much the same for any other air gun with a threaded barrel. I'll also show some optional accessories. Uh, this here battery clip for a anchor a micro power bank. It can be mounted uh, via M-Lock or Picatinny or just uh, strap a Velcro over a tube or bottle. You can see you can mount it on these two M-Lock slots. Um, you just have to take off these back parts here and mount it on there or you could use this mount to mount on the Picatinny rail or the Velcro to mount it on the tube. I'm, I'm guessing that most folks would probably just want to do the Velcro mount since that's temporary. You can put it on, um, get your readings and whatnot and then take it off and and whatnot but uh, so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sh demonstrate the um, velcro installation here you just wrap it around the shroud but it also go around a bottle or the tube or, or even the pick rail on the bottom now the, this particular housing has a, a swivel adapter uh, this one's threaded in half 20 UNF threads um, so you can just thread that on to the shroud for this air gun uh, we are going to provide other um, thread patterns as well. So you just thread that on until it bottoms out and then you can clock the housing in the position that you need it in and then tighten up these set screws. You only need to um, snug these screws up as all it does is keeps the uh, the housing from, from spinning. It um, goes into a slot in the swivel adapter and uh, so that will keep it from from blowing off the end or whatever. Uh, so now you can go ahead and attach the USB-C cable from the battery to the housing and you should see the power LED come on and now it should be putting out a signal and you could pick that up with the Wi-Fi on your device It'll be titled Crony this or that, uh, just like you see here. And you can go ahead and connect to that, just like you would connect to Wi-Fi. Then you can put in the IP address of the device, like I show here. And now you're logged into the, the device, no app. And you can go ahead and mess with the settings and, you know, put in your pellet weight now you're ready to shoot. Now you can um, set this up to look just like an app. You can just add it to your home screen. I'm showing how to do that obviously on the iPhone here. Uh, but you can do the same thing on an Android based smartphone. Um, but yeah, you can just put in the name of what you want it to be saved as, add it to your home screen, and now it looks just like an app. And you won't ever have to put in the IP address again or anything like that. Just connect to it on Wi-Fi and click on the icon. Now the last thing I want to show you is that you can um, attach the modular suppressor baffles to the chronograph. This is the last four baffles of the suppressor. The first one is normally a little smaller ID. You don't want to attach that one. Uh, just the last four. Eventually we'll make these available to buy separately. And if you have any questions about how to operate the software, uh, how to troubleshoot things and whatnot, um, I'm going to go ahead and link to Nate's website where he covers pretty much everything you need to know in a whole lot of depth and there's also a lot of helpful resources just within the software itself uh, as far as how to operate it and how to use it and everything.